in today's video I'm going to be sharing you how I grew my hair and kept and still keep it pretty like awesomely healthy and I still use heat daily. So um just a quick thing of like how I got to this point. I um damaged my hair by dyeing it red. Um I have naturally blonde hair, so I dyed it red, it went orange and I did it purple as well. I just and then no, I did it purple, like an eggplant purple. And then to cover that up, I dyed it red. My hair started falling out and it was just, ugh, well, it was like molting. And so in the middle of last year, I cut it. I just, ah, I don't even want to think about it. I cut it and it was so, 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 so damaged everywhere. It wouldn't grow. So it was cut like here. And then in the past, like two months, only the past two months, has it been growing so my hair is 24 inches long so it is very very long and I'm so so happy that I have long hair again so um it has grown about five inches in like the shortest amount of time so this is just like my how I do it um it sounds pretty weird but it is only like an in the shower type thing I don't do anything else to my hair outside of the shower this is all I do this is all I do seriously Oh, and a brush when I get up in the morning sometimes. Um, but pretty much how I got here is when I was like looking for videos on YouTube of how to grow your hair long, pretty much they said all the same thing. Don't use heat and put your hair in a braid. I can't go without using heat because I love my hair when it's super straight. Um, my natural hair is kind of like kinks of beachy waves. A lot of people like that. I don't like it on my hair. On other people it looks great and then I put it on my hair and I'm like, ugh, I look like a just a wet rat like ugh, my hair looks disgusting so I was like I don't want to tie my hair up in braids and I don't want to leave it natural I want to straighten my hair every day and I want it to grow why can't that happen so this is how I have discovered that this has worked the best for me um quick hair history I have naturally blonde hair I dyed it eggplant purple then I dyed it no I put highlights in it when I was younger to make it darker I have really light blonde hair, um, so my regrowth will come through very, it looks grey at first, it's kind of disgusting, but it's like weird. Um, so, have blonde hair, put dark highlights in it, dyed it eggplant purple, dyed it bright aubergine, so it's, I think, yeah, it's very, 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 very red, and then my hair molted, very, very bad condition, etc, etc. Then cut hair off, not all hair, some hair. Um, and it was about 20 inches long and now it is 24 and a half inches long. I'm so excited. So this is all I do and this is only in the shower. I don't do anything else. So first I start off with my Swarovskoff Extra Extra Care Hair Repair Shampoo with liquid keratin. This is for heavily damaged dry hair. So I'm not a huge shampoo fan. I don't really like shampoo because it makes my hair feel disgusting. So I put, but I like this shampoo. I like it. Um, so I put this only in this section. That is all. I put a decent size in it. About the size of a, oh wait, not very many people are going to make this size of a 50 cent coin. Um, about that much shampoo in the palm of my hand and then the room and area. Um, then before, oh I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast, I just don't want this videos go long because I don't like watching like 18 minute long videos. It's just annoying. Especially when you don't want to know something. So while that is still in my hair, I will put my Tresemme Luxurious Moisture for very dry and damaged hair conditioner everywhere. I put this everywhere. Except where the shampoo already is, it is on every other inch of my hair. Everywhere. So I bought this one like two, three weeks ago and it's already here. I am a conditioner freak. I love my conditioner. So if I ever want to suck up on anything hair related, it's my conditioner. I just love it. And I'm a moisturizer freak. Like I have eczema, I have really dry skin, like really dry skin. So I thought, well, if I, if my skin feels this good um, and my face feels this good after a moisturizer, why shouldn't I moisturize my hair? So I wanted something with like moisturizing, moisturizing stuff in it. So that's what I did. And then I go in with my Swarovskoff's 
Extra Ultimate Repair Anti-Damage Mask. This is a hair mask. It's for heavily, heavily damaged dry hair. So it looks like that. It smells kind of weird. Oh, it smells pretty good. It smells like keratin. Um, so, ew. Um, I bought this one. Same time as I bought that. And it's about here. So I bought all these at the same time because I buy these in... I just buy them all at the same time. I don't know. So I've had all these for the same amount and my shampoo is still here. So I don't use a lot of shampoo. But anyway, back to my hair mask. So what I will do is I will rinse the conditioner and the shampoo out of my hair. It says you should leave this on for at least a minute. I will put this everywhere. All over my hair. A lot of it. And then I will um, shave my legs, my underarms, and brush my teeth and brush my teeth if I'm showering in the morning. I will do my face, exfoliate, etc. Um, I will do all that while this is still in my hair so I have the shower nozzle not facing me. Um, so it doesn't get wet, so it doesn't rinse out. So I leave this in for a good like 10 minutes every single time I use it. Whew. So then I rinse that out and it actually feels kind of disgusting. So I go back in with my Tresemme conditioner and I put this everywhere again. And I didn't put as much as I do on the first time but I just put more on and then I rinse that out and it feels like silk. It feels so good. I just, oh, it just feels amazing. And then when I get out of the shower, I blow dry my hair and then I straighten it. And I should use um, the heat, a heat. I heat protectant. So I think this video is going to be like 10 minutes long, so I'm just going to go through the last things. So that is all I do. I don't use a heat protectant. I should. Um, my hair was pretty healthy when I was still using the heat protectant, but my hair went from seriously damaged to nice and silky. And I'm going to bleach my hair blonde in a few weeks, so um, it should stay pretty healthy if I'm still using all this. And I should be because this is like my holy grail at the moment, and if this changes, I will let you know I will refilm this video but my hair has grown about five inches in seriously the shortest amount of time like I would say definitely three inches in the last month and a half so it has grown a lot so that's pretty much all I do I also only wash my hair about twice or three times a week because I do not like washing my hair every day I think it feels disgusting if I wash it too many times so I just let the natural oils come back through it and it feels so good in between washes. So I just love it. Um, so yeah, that is all I do. I don't do anything else during like I don't put oils on it. I don't do anything. I tie it up occasionally. I sleep with it down. So that is it. I really hope you found this video um, helpful and that you can grow your hair long and still use your heat because that is just amazing. Grow hair, use heat. Ah! So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any more comments or comments, if you have any more questions, please put them in the comment section and I will answer them as soon as I can. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Yeah.